Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life and I have another garage sale and estate sale finds video. I got out on Friday, September 28th and Sunday the 30th and I was lucky enough to find some sales that I thought were garage sales but turned out to be estate sales run by the family. So let's see what I found. I went to the first sale and they had a lot of really neat items. People were just grabbing stuff, you know, because the prices were good. There was this little shelf that had a deer. Um, it's got a little bit of age, not a, probably a whole lot, but I was really shocked. I found one that was on eBay that measured seven inches high by seven inches uh, wide by four inches deep, which is about this size, sold for $120. And it was not a fluke. There was another one just like it that sold for that amount and another one that was a little bit larger that sold for the same amount. I, I'm really shocked. I don't know what the deal is with deer, but it was a, a great deal for that. At the same sale, I found these coasters. This is the only um, Sterling that I got this week. I guess I was lucky just to find it. It was in a bag marked $3 for six coasters, but there turned out to be seven and it says fb rogers sterling and i do want to give a shout out a shout out to tony with secondhand daisy i recommend that anybody who buys sterling has a look at his video he took a couple of items that we normally see at estate sales like coasters and i think it was a candlestick and he tore them apart and weighed the sterling so he could then find out how much sterling are on these items and how much should you be paying because I think all of us have probably overpaid for these type of items before you go to a sale and the people having it goes oh it's sterling well there's not that much sterling there so you don't want to pay more than spot price for this type of thing so please go to his um, his page uh, secondhand Daisy and you'll really get some great information the next sale I went to was a family run estate sale and I got there right after it started, immediately went to the dining room, started seeing all this Fenton and other glassware, started making a pile. So here's what I found. I found this green, uh, either slag glass or marble glass, little pedestal bowl with the ruffled edge. I think that it's Westmoreland. I can't find anything on it. And these sell for about $15. Uh, I found this little moon glow. It's not selling for much with this opalescent edge, about $3, but I have some like it. So I decided to get it and add it to my collection. I found this, uh, it was uh, on Sunday that I found it and it had, uh, the family had brought out more items that weren't for sale on the previous days and it is new looking. It has this little striped look, but I thought it was pretty. I don't know who makes it. I didn't really take the time to research. I wouldn't be surprised if it was in Fenton because they had so much Fenton there. Uh, so I can't tell anything more on that one. When the gentleman found out that I was donating the Bibles, he gave them to me. So I got an NIV topical study Bible. I got a Ryer study Bible, uh, American Standard. I got the NIV giant print reference Bible by Zondervan. I got the the Tyndale Holy Bible New Living Translation and I did pay a dollar for this Ryer Study Bible. Uh, I got a whole pile of these plate uh, holders, bowl holders. I think there's one, two, three, four, but it's about five or six of them as well as this big hold, um, what would you call that? You could put a painting, even a small painting on it and that was very cheap as well. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I spent so spent forty-one dollars, a dollar on the Bible, ten dollars on the deer shelf and the coasters. So it leaves thirty dollars for all this glassware and all the plate stands. So it all kind of works out to between two to three dollars each. Then I found this, and it is another little hobnail yellow dish. I don't know how much it's going for. I could never find anything like it. It's probably, again, Westmoreland. There's no mark on it. Let's see, this turned out to be a complete shock. This is a Fenton blue-handled um, basket, hand-painted with topaz overlay, and it says 2002 on the bottom. Let's give you a little close-up on what that looks like. This one, exactly like it, just sold for $50. <laughs> I was shocked. I could not believe it. It was, I, I just could not believe it. it. It was a big surprise. Then I got this. It's a very large Fenton vase. 
and the only one like it that I could find had a lot of hand painting on it so we really could not make a comparison on prices so I really don't have anything to tell you there it's yellow yellow is not my favorite color but I just had a feeling the prices were going to be extremely low so I made a pile and we just did a deal here is a sugar shaker um, when I did my research, we couldn't, I couldn't quite tell if this was McKee, Anchor Hawking, something else like that. It uh, has matching sugar, salt and pepper shakers, but the family had already taken those. This looks to be uh, about, let me think, where's the sugar on here? I think it's 10 to $20 is what it's going for. Then, this was a big surprise. <laughs> this is kind of quirky for me. Um, but it was on the mantle in the living room. It has a lot of hand painting here with the flowers and the little bumblebee. This is a Fenton Alley Cat. And there are a lot of sold listings if you look on eBay. And they are going for anywhere from $46 to $142. There was nothing exactly like this. So I couldn't do a comparison. But be on the watch out for the... Halloween one. It is purple. It has cobwebs and other Halloween kind of imagery on it. There were only 80 of them made and one just sold for $300. So you want to be on the lookout for that. Plus there was one that was kind of a chocolate color and it had a green frog and a red polka dot toadstool on it and it sold for $250. I, you know, these cats seem to be a big deal with collectors. This is also a hand painted Fenton vase. And it is signed Shelley Fenton, as well as the artist signature, and they're going for about $30. This is Fostoria, and it's not going for very much. I think it's going for about $10. The guy at the sale thought, oh, that's a really good one. I think that's why it went up to $30 instead of $20, but I didn't know what it was, so I just took a chance on it. I got this on the second day on... Sunday. Sorry you can't see it real well. And this is Royal Copenhagen. I'm going to let you see it. That's what it says in that faded green. But you can see the three little wavy lines. And these still get some pretty good money. They were much more expensive uh, back in the day. They, um, there was not an exactly, exact one like this on the sold listings, but what I could find, they sell between $20 to $60, depending upon the flower. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there was a free box. There was this little unicorn. It says Carmel, California. It must have been some kind of souvenir. And things similar to it are selling for about $6. I uh, hope you enjoyed everything, and I would love to hear from you. See if you have any uh, information to share with me. I'm always ready to learn and uh, get questions as well as if you enjoy this type of thing i would love your subscription thanks so much take care bye bye